Hi, I'm Cedar with Freedom Voice Customer Care, and today I'm going to show you how to get started with your Freedom Voice virtual phone system in five easy steps. To start, go to weblink.freedomvoice.com, enter your phone number, and then log in with your username and password. Once you've logged into Weblink, the first thing we'll do is add new users. From the settings menu, click on Users under Company. You can see that when you sign up, you are created a default user as an administrator. If you have coworkers or employees, you can add them here. To add a user, simply click Add New User. Choose a display name for your user, assign them an extension, enter their email address, and choose a role. Your options are administrator, which gives them full control of your virtual phone system, or mailbox user, which only allows them to edit their specific settings, such as forwarding and voicemail recording. Choose a time zone where that user is located, and leave this box checked so they'll get an email with their username and password. When you're done entering that information, simply click Save. You can see now I have two users with extension 800 and 801. The next thing we're going to do is set up our auto attendant recording. To do so, hover over Settings and under the Menus tab, choose Recordings. Your auto attendant is the greeting and options list that your callers hear when they dial your number. All Freedom Voice virtual phone systems come with a generic pre-recorded auto attendant, but you'll probably want to customize it. To do so, simply click on Change Audio. While you're recording your auto attendant menu, refer to this chart in the virtual phone system manual to understand what the different buttons do in your auto attendant. Each touch tone digit corresponds to an extension in your system. 0 corresponds to extension 800, 1 corresponds to extension 801, 2 corresponds to 802, and so on. 800 is also the default extension, so that if a caller doesn't press any options, they'll get to forwarded to that extension. The easiest way to record your auto attendant is simply to have the system call you to record. Simply enter your phone number and click Call Me. You'll receive a call from our automated system that directs you to record your auto attendant, review it, and then save it. If, alternatively, you already have your auto attendant menu recorded in a WAV or MP3 audio file, simply click on Load from Audio File, choose the file from your computer, and then upload it. Now that you have your auto attendant recorded, you can listen to it here and make sure it sounds good. Once you're happy with your auto attendant, it's time to set up the menu defaults. So do so, hover over Settings, and under the Menus column, click on Menu Defaults. Here you can choose what happens when a caller dials your phone system. To have the auto attendant answer, make sure this toggle switch is in the on position. You can also choose the default extension that I mentioned, and you can see here that 800 is already selected. You can also choose a default fax extension, so if a fax comes into your number, it can be routed to that. Next we'll record your voicemail greetings. Under the settings menu, select voicemail boxes. Here you can record your greetings for all of your voicemail boxes. We'll start with mine, extension 800. There's a pre-recorded generic greeting, but I want to customize it, so I'm going to click on Change Recording. Again, I can enter any phone number to have the system call me and prompt me to record my greeting, or if I have an MP3 or a WAV file, I can upload that from my computer. Additionally on this page, I can change how long I would like my voicemail to be retained for, and I can turn on or off the greeting. Next, we'll set up call forwarding by going to the Settings menu, under Delivery, and clicking on Call Forwarding. Here you can configure call forwarding for all the users and extensions in your virtual phone system. I'm going to start by configuring mine. 
When someone calls my phone system and presses option 0 for extension 800, I want that to forward to my cell phone, so I'll click on. You can see here a pop-up has come up that allows me to enter my phone number. and a description so I remember what number this is later. Then I can choose what time zone I'm located in and click Save. When I receive calls, I have the option of seeing the number of the person calling me or the number that they dialed. This is helpful if you want to know that the call is coming in through your virtual phone system, but I want to know who's calling me so I'll leave it on caller's number. If I only want my forwarding to happen at certain times, click on Add Time Day Filter. This will allow you to choose a start time, end time, and on what days the forwarding should occur. I only work 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, so I'll click on 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. and uncheck the days that I don't want it to forward. You can also choose the number of rings before the Freedom Voice voicemail picks up, this is helpful if you're forwarding to a phone that already has its own voicemail. A higher number of rings would allow it to continue ringing until your cell phone or office phone voicemail answers, and a lower number of rings would allow the Freedom Voice voicemail to pick up earlier. I want the messages to come into my Freedom Voice voicemail, so I'm going to leave this at 4. Once you're done configuring the time and day filter, click Save. You can have more than one time and day filter, such as if I also wanted to work on the weekends, but only between 7 a.m. and 11 a.m., I can configure that here. Now let's review the settings. As you can see, when a call comes into extension 800, it will forward, I will see the caller's number, it's going to go to my cell phone, and it will happen between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and 6 a.m. and 11 a.m. Saturday and Sunday. Now your forwarding is active for this extension and your virtual phone system is ready to use.